I just filmed this video only to realize that it was blurry. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now, if you're new here, hi. My name is Yasmin and I do fashion, lifestyle, beauty videos. And I would really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. So, as you guys can tell by the title already, this is a very, very, very highly requested video. Everyone on my Instagram asks me on this, everyone screws me on this, and everyone asks me this question, and today I am answering how I edit my photos. So I'm just going to divide this into three sections, what I use, how I use them, and how I edit, if that makes sense. So the first thing is, what do I use to take my photos? I mostly use my phone, which is the iPhone 8 plus and i also use my camera which i'm using from now which is the canon atd with the 18 10 to 18 millimeter lens and also sometimes i use the kit lens that it came with which is the 18 to 135 now the reason why i like using this for my photos is it can zoom so much and the reason why i like using this other one which is fairly new i haven't really Played around with it but it it has it does like the wide angle thing so it captures a lot in a photo anyway yeah so those are the two equipments i use so, so for my uh for my phone i use my back camera to take all my photos even my selfies i just got used to it i know it can be hard starting off but i train myself to use my back camera because i feel like it's more clearer and more hd in my opinion what else um when i am taking photos other than selfies like outfit photos or like a detailed photo i like creating a composition for the photo if that makes sense like i have to have some elements and not just me in the photo unless i want that so that the general composition of the photo would look good if that makes sense so yeah so what i do a tip that i trick that i do when taking photos especially if i'm having someone else take photos of me who's never taken photos of me people like my sisters have taken photos of me forever so they know my angle sometimes even better than i do so i'm not too worried about them but when it comes to other people um i just position my phone where i want it to be and then i show them i want it in this exact angle i want you to hold like this like that blah 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 so that's what i do and then another trick that i feel like i cut fish people on this but a lot of people tell me oh you look shorter in person i'm sorry or oh, your photos you look quite tall in your photos that's because i hold my phone at an angle to make me look elongated to make me look tall so that's another trick and another tip i'd like to give is lighting lighting is so important when it comes to photos because when the lighting is good you can easily manipulate the photo you know what i mean for example during the day i mostly take my photos during the day because i feel like that's the best time i can get a good photo that i can easily manipulate sometimes i do take at night and i have to use the flash but sometimes it's tricky the photos might not end up looking good or little manipulation can, can go through that photo you know what i mean so that's a tip that i would do another thing else is i wouldn't necessarily shoot myself is in direct sunlight because direct sunlight could be a bit too harsh i stand in front of a giant window like i am right now and i take my photos from that that way when the light comes in it bounces off the walls and then hits your face that way the light is diffused and it's softer than just direct harsh sunlight if that makes sense the only time i would stand in like direct sunlight is during golden hour that's like when the sun is about to set and it's turned into this warm goldenish color and gives this pretty glow to your face but that's like the only time but other than that i like taking the photos indoors for me that's uh, that's how my selfies turn out the best yeah so enough about everything else i'm just going to show you guys how i edit and what i edit with depending on how i'm feeling that day as you can tell my like i like rotating instagram feeds a lot like i like trying different things i'm very creative when it comes to my instagram i like i can share my story like share my life through there and i want to be as creative as i possibly can so last year i had this a theme going on where i would do i know that's where most people are curious about because a lot of people were interested in how i used to collage and do all that fun stuff on my instagram because i had a good time doing that so what i would do okay so let me just start from the basics okay the four apps i used when editing my photos minus the collage stuff i'll talk about that later is uh facetune visco cam that's vsco cam snapseed and afterlight those are my four go-to apps what facetune does basically is just cleans up a photo so i feel like it's the basis of every photo sharpness detailing smoothening whitening 
I feel like that's how all photos should start and then comes the filters and all those ex extra other edits and whatnot that everyone likes so I'm gonna start with a selfie okay and I'm sure you guys have seen this photo on my Instagram before so what I'm gonna do is as you can tell I'm wearing some really good lashes so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna detail them and a tip is don't drag just tap that way you will get a more natural look rather than dragging and you oversaturate that specific feature you know what i mean like it'll just especially like the smoothening filter when it comes to your skin just don't smooth everything and look poreless you know that's not skin i want my skin to look as humanly possible as it can if that makes sense like i want it to look like skin so another trick i like to do is i like to whiten the whites of my eyes or my smile if i'm smiling in that photo just to brighten it up a bit it's like that's what I use a whitening feature for and then if my skin is not looking if I'm wearing highlight I would highlight that part as well but in this photo not as much I will highlight my gloss a bit the earrings I'm wearing if the background wall is like a bit brownish sometimes I would go over it with like a whitening tool just to clean that up and whiten that up just to brighten the photo even with that the filter you put on top of that would be much better if that makes sense yeah so I come back to VSCO cam and with VSCO cam I personally have like my own preset presets like i have my own presets that i've created such i've been playing around with this app for such a long time so i already know what i like what filters i like on my pictures so i have already set like a variety of my own presets which i use on different photos so i don't necessarily go through this process with every photo i just copy and paste it but for the purpose of this video i'm just going to show you guys a couple of my favorite filters and all that stuff so the uh visco cam comes with a lot of free filters that you guys can choose from but they also have they also offer like the paid ones which a set of them could be like eight filters or ten filters could be like 300 bob 200 bob so it's quite affordable even if you decided to buy them i'm sorry i keep forgetting this facetream is not a free app it it, it costs like i think so that's about 300 400 either 400 or 300 one of the two but yeah that's sort of free up but snapseed is free visco is free and afterlight is free i'm guessing i'm guessing so my favorite filters are the a's so the a4 a5 a6 i also like um c1 not c1 yeah c1 I also like the HBs, hb1 hb2 so in this photo i am going to use analog six so that's a6 and then i bring it down all the way to like a 6.45 and then i come down to the exposure bring that up a bit and then then just take the contrast down a bit and then um saturation should i bring it up yes i want the saturation up sometimes i also play around with the white balance if i'm feeling it if i want my picture to be too yellow or too blue you know what temperature does like either cool or warm so i'm not gonna play around with that i already like how the photo looks so i'm just gonna save it to my camera roll the way it is so what i do next is i come on to snapseed in snapseed i add another filter onto the photo come on to grainy film now the thing about snapseed is you can selectively brighten add warmth add saturation contrast to specific parts of the photo which for me is like a game changer snapseed is a very good app it's so when you go to the grainy film it has a bunch of filters so i'm just gonna reduce the grain because i don't want my photo that grainy so i keep my grain zero to five on most days and sometimes barely use anything so i'm just gonna bring this filter all the way down to like 20 35 maybe 35 and then i'm going to save this now the fun part is adding the dust particles that everyone asks me about and like the light leaks so here is the secret now i use after light to add the dust and the light leaks for me that just changed the whole photo for me so what i do is i come on the box feature and then i click light light leaks and they have like about 30 something light leaks and i just pick the one that speaks to me the most number seven is probably one of my faves and i just adjust how much i want it and then come to the dust and add dust dust probably is what makes the photos vintage and fun and everything so that's basically it and the photo goes up on instagram now i'm going to show you guys how i used to do the collage thingies before i switched it up and everything so what i would do is i would come to pixart and i had already downloaded like png film borders i'm sure you can find that on google if you look them up like png film borders pick the freestyle you know the part where you do the collages in pixart I would do freestyle and then I would just start 
playing around with the photo you know i would do this and then i would do that or twist it that would look that looks good and then for example if i want the other photo to stand out i'll just put like a border across of it so honestly that's all i would do and then i'd use the drawing feature where i would just scribble on top of it basically i would just let my mind do its thing i didn't have a certain like handbook i would follow i would just what i'm feeling that day is how i would edit the photo and i guess abstractness made my feet look good if that makes sense but i didn't have like set tools what i would do but those that's the app i would use to make this possible so so now that i've shown you guys how to edit a selfie i basically do the same thing with um my full body pics now here is a photo of me this is a recent photo i took of my but like i said i don't go through the same process with every photo i just copy and paste the same thing over and over and over again so that just to give that cohesive flow to my photo so what i do i just copy the previous photo and then paste the effects now sometimes the photo that you have um the copy and paste might not work on all photos because sometimes you might have a photo that's a little bit more brighter than the other one so that's for you to know how i'm going to change the brightness the exposure the contrast the saturation just so that it could look similar you know what i mean if that makes sense but the underlining filter is similar so it's for you to balance it out to make it look the same after i save it i come to did i even save it yeah I come to Snapseed and then I just do the same thing, come to Premium Film, adjust, adjust, adjust. Like for example, this photo is better than the other one. So I'm not going to use as much filter as I did on the other one. And then I'm going to save it and I'm going to come to Afterlight and then go through the same process with the same photo, if that makes sense. Come to the dust. I'm not going to add a light leak on this. Okay. I'm not, uh, should I add a light leak? Okay, that looks good. And that's basically it. I just save it to my camera roll and upload it on Instagram just like that. But when I would go through like that creative phase, I'd go back to PixArt and just start playing around with my features. You know what I mean? I'd think about different ways to just arrange my photos. I feel like I can't tell you how to do that. That's for your creative freedom. Like do whatever you want. And that is it. That is how I edit my videos. Let me know if you guys want to see an Insta Stories a video, how I edit my Insta Stories, how to what apps what fun apps to make them creative and aesthetic let me know if you guys want to see that type of video thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys I'm in so patient and I'm getting bored.